welcome to Maui Live Show's The Tub. In the tub this week are some of Maui's best-known personalities talking about life on Maui. Welcome once again to Maui Live Show's The Tub. And hello, everybody. Welcome to The Tub. It's good to have everybody here. Man, we got, we got look at how many people we have here. Way too many. I know. I, you know, I, I tell you, I want to keep it to six. We can never keep it to six. We can never keep it to six. We don't want you to have your way. now. Ten. That's too many people. I don't, I don't even like people. We have to move to an undisclosed location. So people can't find us anymore. Why don't we just get rid of you? That's oh, a thought. That's a thought. Wow. <laughs> it's so hurtful in less than two minutes. I have no sense. He's on a roll. You are on a roll already. already. I'm already sitting at the table. I need to apologize, <laughs> but I'm not going to. All right. So. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and, right. boys and girls, let's talk about the greatest show, by the way, the highest rated TV show on a Kaku TV. Right. I don't know what that I don't know what that says, but it's all we got. You know, I mean, we're, we're here. Yeah. Uh, Sean is actually getting emails telling tell him how much they like my show. Yeah. So, I mean, I've never had emails before that didn't say, please get him off. Of I, I, I didn't see any emails. Why haven't you been calling them to us? Well, um, I could. It was on Facebook. I believe these emails were the reason he decided not to be on the show so much. It's like, it's, it's getting popular. Now people are recognizing me. Actually, they actually uh, are recognizing me, too, and I don't want that. Kind of creepy, I'm doing this for the pure joy of being with my friends. Oh. Oh. Lies. Lies all lies. <laughs> well, that friendship piece too. Let's welcome to the tub the one and only Bill Bast. <laughs> Bill on the air now with um, the Na'o Hanaho Radio again. You guys are sounding really good, really good. I like that. And, of course, the most influential person on the island, even though he, he gets embarrassed when I say this, Michael Polio. <laughs> Right. And one of the funniest guys on the island, I say one of the funniest because there's not many. Uh, at yeah, this table. At, not even at this table, that's for sure. Let's welcome Sonny Dallas. Oh. And we'll get to you in a, in a, in a minute, uh, beautiful lady down at the bottom. Okay, there. Okay, You're and over here. Best for last. I am saving the best I'm normally last. Now I don't know what to say. Well, you weren't the best, that's for sure. And over here to my immediate right, the one and only star of radio. Radio and radio and radio. Photographs. And a few inches from the hair flip. Michael McCartney! You know, that is true. I watch the tub a lot to see how we can do it better. And uh, Trish, you almost hit him every time you flip your hair. You're a hair, not your head. But there were a number of episodes where yeah. my hair was entwined in her. Yeah. So that's why I got a haircut. It's like I can't hard. control it. I can't control the mane. Yeah. Here she is, Trish Dennis. Wow, you got a special plan for That was kind of nice. Right? And, uh, of course, in charge of sound effects, Bill Best, uh, who never overdoes it. Bill, Bill, you're overdoing it. Okay. And the, the funniest guy on the island, and a guy that I like to see face to face. That was funny. Even though he's about a foot and a half taller than I am. And my uh, my right arm, which I try not to use very often, Eric Molina. Yeah. Well, once you win that arm, you'll go blind. <laughs> All right, and uh, over here in the what we call the uh, cheap seats? the audience, cheap seats. That's really what they are. Cheap that's seats for your family. Honorable mentions. Peanut Peanut Gallery. He was white, so I but he had to go there. You know, that's Maui, Maui time. Maui time. Maui time. He was Maui time. Show a bell. And right next to him, um, the most beautiful woman on the island, I might add. Um, Michael John, our co producer. Yay, we love Michael! Our executive producer is uh, standing over there. Carl, look look my way. Carl Rosiski! Yeah, and of course, second, separate, separate. What are you doing? I was, we have so many people. Stop thinking. And our second cameraman, Marty Anderson. Hey, Marty, wherever you are, where are you in the control room? Can't see you. <laughs> Wait, did he speak? Can't see not, not by my authority, he can't. No, he has to. Shut up. Yeah, that's it. And so we have a big show, a huge show, the July show planned for. 
for this evening. Did you know that this was going to be a big show? Oh, yeah. Did you? Okay. okay. We, uh, we had some great food at the, at the beginning, right? Mm. Mm. That's, that's yes. how I knew, actually. Awesome. Oh, that it was going to be a good show. When you feed us full dinner, I'm like, yeah. oh, he's going to expect yeah. a lot yeah, of us to play with sparklers in the parking lot. <laughs> well, Michael McCartney is, uh, is is very, very influential in the uh, radio business. Uh-oh, where's this and going? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? You know, I could treat you like Eric. Do you want it? Yeah, I don't know. No. All right. So, don't go there. very, very influential and knows everybody. He literally knows everybody. Big stars. Yep. Big, big, big but stars. Other people, too. Right? We were at a, uh, the movie theater. And, yeah. Uh, and we were standing outside the restroom. He went in the restroom and said, Hey, how you doing? I, he knows people in the restroom. Uh, <laughs> every, he knows everybody. Oh, well, that's quite a story yeah. you told. Good story, Bill. Bill. Thanks. That wasn't Thanks for that story. All through that conversation, yeah, yeah, the rest of it. Yeah. yeah, okay. <laughs> I washed my hands. Michael, uh, <laughs> Michael uh, calls me and says, Larry, how would you like to have Malika Dudley on the uh, tub? And... Um, I, I can tell you this right now. My heart did stop, and I haven't got a great heart anyway. And and it, and it and it stopped, and I went, the Malika Dudley, the Malika Dudley, and he says, yeah, yeah, and I'm going, no, you're kidding me. You you can get her on the show. He said, absolutely. She's begging me to get on the tub. <laughs> I'm sure. So so um so and I'm, knees. I'm, I'm guessing she was two thirds of the emails that we got. <laughs> yeah, probably. So she um she is here. That was that was easy. Trying to get a picture of Malika. Um, but, 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 but anyway. He's creepy with everyone. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> this is not creepy. Thank I can get creepy. Uh, yeah, well, he's not an introducer. It's more like uh, looking at it through glass. Well, what <laughs> I, I mean, and I, I have some stories about Malika. Oh, I have oh, some no. stories. Oh, but I want to. I want, is um, one of those in the airport? It is. How do you remember that? I, did I tell you that story? She's on this show. On Otherwise, she doesn't know. know. What a coincidence. Was, you know, when she came in today, I was going, oh, I have the greatest. Oh, I can't tell you because i got to wait for the show. You know how you tell the story the second time it's not nearly as good? All the time uh, with bill collectors, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it my jokes. Tell, tell everybody about Malika as much as you know because I think I know more, but you go ahead. I think it'd be better if she told us. No, I think it'd be better if you told us. As a meteorologist, uh, most of us here on the island know as a meteorologist on television. Yeah, yeah, that, and that. Actually, just uh, in terms of time frame, I guess, was it six weeks ago, you were on Hollywood Game Night on NBC. Hollywood Game Night. That's, that's a big oh, show, man. Wow. Big show. She, uh, she didn't win. So I, I, I wrote her off immediately. Um, so you want to I only me. deal with winners, as you know. I don't even know why you're here. So um, anyway, she was fantastic. So incredibly beautiful. And what they can do with the cameras and the lights, unbelievable. You know? I mean, I could look pretty on a show like that. I'm actually a five foot four female. So and I like you. Okay. So tell, tell us more about Malika. When did you get involved? You're, you're asking a question. I, I want to go for He's questions. He's an interviewer. The, the jump between Hilo and Oahu. Yeah. You went to school. Mm-hmm. And then you ended up entering a pageant of yeah. some kind? Yeah. yeah. Miss, the Miss Hawaiian pageant. Hawaii. Hawaii. Oh, no, I got it wrong. Don't correct me. I'm the corrector. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I'm in the room. <laughs> Ooh, I like this girl. <laughs> this last just broke. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, well, it was Are they done on random. a dare? Uh, what's that? Was it yeah. done on a dare or just a random show? No, or? no. I was, um, I was at a bar somewhere, and they had a fashion show going, and it was a bunch of pageant girls, and I happened to be there and knew one of the guys that was putting on the show. And um, when I, he introduced me to all the girls, when I started talking to them, one of the girls ended up asking me, you know, oh, did you, have you run in a pageant? And I said, no. She goes, do you have talent? And I thought, <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of a weird question. Yeah, now really. I understand. Okay. You know, now that I'm, you know, yeah. I'm not a pageant girl. I only uh, ran two years. But, mm-hmm. um, you know, I said, well, I sing sometimes. She goes, oh, well, you should run in the Miss Hawaii pageant. And... That was pretty much how it started. I met with a Miss Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. Well, I met with a Miss Hawaii and Tracy Toguchi, and it just kind of blew me away that it was more than just about like a pretty face and all this. And I needed money to go to school, and it's all about scholarship. And so I went, sign me up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't win the first year. I was fourth runner up. Yeah. But that's, that's disappointing. You yeah, got the whole flowers, though, right? I got flowers. Yeah. 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 
Um, but, but you I, won the second year then. Yeah, I just yeah. came away from that with like this resolve that next year I'm going to be, now I know. Now I know what I got to do. Yeah. And so the second year, um, it just happened. Yeah, it fell into place. No. And you, you, you were uh, Miss Hawaii. I was. Yeah, I mean, you were. You were. Well, are you? No, wait. No, here's the scary is it, is it like part. The, is it like uh, once you are, you are always? Yeah, you're. They, that's actually the line. Once wow. it is, but you always. Always, always is it. Right. I'm coming up on ten years. Really? Oh, do, yeah. do you have yeah. your tiara? I yes. Yeah, you should have asked you? me. You should have brought it. So Larry <laughs> would wear it. I would wear it. Oh, man, I'd be great carrying it with me. <laughs> no, I would. I don't know. Next, I know. next time, if there is an expense, I, I don't always invite people back. All right? Just so you know. I mean, I'm, my, I'm, Mike, how many months has it been since I invited you? Four months. Yeah. Three or four months. Yeah. I know Miss Spam. Yeah. Yeah. She's still in Miss Spam. Oh, yeah, she lives out there yeah. in the Garden of Eden. Yeah, I know Miss Spam, too. That's, that sounds okay. like a great gig. It's like yeah. cool. What yeah. you get yeah. lifetime supply of Spam, I believe. So when, awesome. when, when wow. I first got it, <laughs> <laughs> did you guys forget it's all about me? I think it's all about me. I'm going to shout out right now to Betsy King, who happens to be watching TV. Hey, Betsy and Mike. Garden of Eden. All right, so so I, I have some stories that, about her. When I first got here to, to the island, of course, I'm watching TV, and you were on my favorite channel because I couldn't stand the ones that Eric. What's the channel you watch? Channel two. Oh, channel two. Yes, yeah, so, terrible, yeah. terrible, it's terrible, terrible. It's horrible. Yeah. Terrible. It is horrible. It's horrible. It is. They have a Miss Hawaii though. <laughs> they have a Miss Hawaii too. Yes, one of their one of their announcers. Why didn't not anymore? Know. Not really? anymore. Yeah. Oh, she went off to another program. They're just oh, not dependable people. Really? Oh, okay. Right. I'm done with Channel Two. Okay, me too. Right. Yep. So, so anyway, I'm watching, I'm watching her on the TV, and and I, my wife knows this. I was <laughs> madly in love with her. I mean, totally madly in love. And that's easy for me because I fall in love with anyone that good looking. They don't even have to be that good looking, and I fall in it love. To me. <laughs> so, so I, I didn't ever miss, uh, did I? I would turn it on and record it too, just so I could see you. I could care less about news. Stupid, stupid, stupid. We but, called him Mr. Pause. But her doing the weather, she was, she was like El Tormendo. All right, and and so, and so I is fell that, in love. Was hurricane? Yeah, it probably was right. I, what do is I that the story? Grandioso? No, that's not okay, the story. I'm a little, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed. You, you know, I liked it when you were a little blunt with me before. I don't like it anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I don't. It's not a contest. Well, you know. what you asked for. Okay. No, I really did. Fifteen minutes into the I encouraged it, but didn't ask for it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so anyway, one time we're we're at. <laughs> so, Bill. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, I gave you a horn. Don't you dare honk it during my story. So. All right. So, uh, the, if, if you hear a bell or you hear the horn, that means shut up. Okay. That's really what I mean. So, one time we're at the um, Oahu Airport, my wife and I, and uh, you know we're waiting for a plane, the whole thing, and and I see you over there. You're on the phone. You're like. Really and really deep into a conversation, and so I, I said to Michael, I, I said, "Hey, that's Malika Dudley." He said, "No, it's not." I said, "It is." I would know that face anywhere, <laughs> anywhere. And she said, "It's not either." I said, "It is." I'm going to go over and say hello to her. All right. So, so you were over there, but you were discussing business. And if you, we're all in the broadcast business, you know how harried this business really is. It's just a bad business to be in. I don't know why we do it, except we love it. And 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 you were over there, and the producers were telling you something. You had had to do the anchor that morning, not just the weather. Your anchors didn't show up. You had to. Do you remember this at all? Nothing. Okay. I, uh, you, but, but you, I have a terrible memory. Uh, he's probably making it up. I'm well, not, the only reason I'm you remember your face for is a on his true. Arm. Okay. <laughs> so, so you, you finally get off the phone, and you are absolutely just um, like that. I mean, you, your whole countenance was like, I'm a failure. Like that. And so I walk over, and I say, uh, Malika, uh, I'm Larry John. You don't know who that is. But I love watching you on TV. I do. You make it so good. The weather's so good. And you go, I really needed that today. Uh, they just told me how terrible I did this morning. And I didn't know I was going to be the anchor. I'm just, I'm the weather person, you know. Uh, and, and so I started to tell you how great you were. By the time I left, you were in love with me. Is this true? That's what I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. You, do you vaguely remember this at all? And you are. I mean, I'm so much shorter than you. Maybe you were looking right over me. But <laughs> You know, I mean, it's one of my problems in life is that I have a terrible memory. And even my I, best friends are really disappointed when I don't remember amazing yeah, memories. You don't remember them? So I, I apologize. 
that yeah. I, I don't actually remember the instance, but um, I definitely know that I had a couple of days like that, okay. and Mal- that would have made Malika. my day. It sounds like something I would have done, so Malika. I don't think he's making it up. This is okay. <laughs> this is acting, and that acting was not what I was expecting. So, <laughs> so you remember, don't you? <laughs> Of course. Yes, of course. I was the little guy that stood there, and you felt so good after I left, right? Yes. Yes. By the way, you remember, you remember a co-signing on my car, right? <laughs> I, I think I loaned you a couple hundred dollars a few weeks ago. All right. I remember that kind of stuff. <laughs> Wait, you know, money. All right, let's, let's do it. This is the reason you guys come here. I, I, I don't know why you keep coming, but I'm a, th- I'm a thankful guy that you keep coming. I want you to plug anything you need to plug right now. Bill, we start right now. Do you have anything to plug? My wife's artwork. Okay, let's talk about that right now. As you know, Bill Best on Bobbybest.com does um, watercolors. She did all of these, right? She, she did all of them. Yeah. 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 Was there. And there's hundreds of them now. It's amazing that she's, she's uh, developed. She, she actually walks yeah. up to people on the beach and says, hey, you want a picture? Like that, right? And, and, uh, and especially uh, taking pictures of the kids, you know, people yeah. she doesn't even know. Right. It's amazing that they say, oh, yeah, sure, take a sure, picture. Sure, take a picture of my kids. Kid. Yeah. yeah. And um, <laughs> would you mind tending them? It could be while. worse. Yeah. yeah, it could be. A lot of worse. Yeah. But uh, yeah. she has this wonderful, yeah. endearing quality. And... Uh, and uh, she does. She's done hundreds of, of pictures of kids, uh, just right off the beach. And, yeah, yeah. And Elvis, there's Elvis. Uh, I'm the one on the right. Uh-huh. Which one? <laughs> oh, you're not that one. You're this one over yeah, here. Oh, dog. that's you. <laughs> <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Not far right. Uh, all right. But she's done. Dog. We want to thank Bobby and Bill. Yeah, your grandma's right up here. Yeah. It, that looks good. like an ancient picture. It was done 100 years ago, but she she just barely did. Oh, it's right. like, I like I the eyes. Yeah. I know he should yeah. do the tub like all of us. Well, hey, hey, Bobby, let's follow the words. Bobby, just come in here and wave. Bring up. Let's do Bobby, this. come in here and wave to everybody and then just get the hell out of here. Can you give me more hair, though? Uh, she says, more hair. She, she I invites uh, Bobby, I can't, I can't waste time with you. Okay, there she is. Okay, there she is. But she invites people to email her pictures, and uh, and she'll come up with a rendering of, uh, of their a- picture. Any picture? Sorry, I can't open it. You know that story that you told last tub about the grade school thing. Every time I think about that, you shouldn't have told that story. By the way, you know, start all of us. Yeah, no, that 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 hurt. But I laugh so hard when I'm listening to it. It's like, oh my, you know which one I'm talking about? The overall story. No, I'm talking about when you showed everybody your man parts. Oh, when you were a little kid. The reason for my first high school expulsion. Exactly. (laughs) It's it's a really good story. No, no, it's it's a story of struggle and triumph. Please don't tell it again. And expulsion. But from now, but from now on, I use what you. Used, I'm, I tell Michael, Michael, I'm in trophy mode. And, uh, <laughs> I, like you know, I, 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 I tell that as a, I've, I've readapted as a joke on stage, and yeah. I do have people come up to me and say, like, oh, I totally called my boyfriend on being on swim mode. Swim like, mode. Ah, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never on swim mode, but trophy mode all the time. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, well, what do you got going on, Michael? Legally blonde. All right, let's talk about that. Uh, yeah. Go, get yeah, right up to your microphone. Get right up to your mic. On the 11th. And starring the fabulous Casey Murphy. All the oh my God! That's right? uh, running four weekends through August third, and Great. you can get tickets by visiting MauiOnStage.com. And tickets are seventeen to twenty-eight bucks. Ben no, and Seth. Very affordable. Great. Because you're going to be good. And, oh my God, you guys! And these are real live people. Oh my God, we're still going to oh go. God. No, totally. I, mean, you're, I mean you're a promoter, but is it going to be good? Is it something I want to spend my money on? It's a totally on? funny story. No, tell me the history between me and you. A fantastic huh? cast. Well, really? well, no, I didn't talk about the cast. So that, well, do you, have you ever seen the movie? Well, of course, thousands of times. If you like the movie, you'll love the music. All right. All right. All right. It says right there, ridiculously wow. enjoyable. Well, then it must be true, Bill. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. It wouldn't say it if it Women didn't mean it. It's in black and yellow. And, and shows like Chicago mm-hmm. yeah. and Greece. Yeah. You know, they I saw them. Mm-hmm. I saw them. They're all lining up to be in this musical. They're lining They're up. They're actually, we're about 40... People that couldn't be in the show because so many people auditioned. Exactly. You know, I was. I'm always. I'm always sad when you don't call me because I don't audition. <laughs> I don't do. I don't do, do those calls or the cattle calls. Well, I'll give you one of these. Yeah. And you can. You what am I going to do with it? For L, for Adam's family. 
Well, Adam's, you're producing that, too, aren't directing you? Adam. You're directing oh, it. Yeah. You got See, it. I would love to be it, but I don't know which part I'd play. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. I could be Uncle Fester. 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 Wouldn't it be so good? Wouldn't it be good? Oh, my wait, God. Wait until this. You should be thing. I will find you, but you should just check out the website and you come down and audition. Yeah. No, I don't audition. You have to call me and say I got the part. Okay. No, wait until dark. I think you'd be good. You'd be a good villain. Really? I could see you in the Alan Arkin kind in of In the role. dark. Oh, I'd love to be <laughs> a villain. In the dark. In the dark. Murder. So, uh, Sonny <laughs> Dennis, what do you got going on? Anything fun? Uh, okay, uh, that's a no. We're producing a TV show right now. We're trying really? to get it picked up. Yeah. So if anyone wants to do that, <laughs> or, or, you should let us know. Or give us a budget. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to know about, more about this. What show? kind of TV um, shows? Well, it's called the Sunny and Chino Show. We're very, very original. Really? Well, you couldn't find now. anybody to name it after Sunny other than yourself? Yes. Yeah. 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 It's literally just... It's a it's, top top it's, it's an yeah. ADD skit, sketch comedy show right. with uh, local lifestyles extremely exaggerated. Right. If, you, if right. you grew up here, you're gonna love it, kind of a thing. If yeah. you didn't, you're not. Also, I'll hate it on. then, right? Because uh-huh. I didn't grow up here. Oh, you know what? Like, I didn't, the, you know, the Carlisle Motors commercial. You know what I mean? Stuff yeah. like that. You'll be fine. So it's, you're, you're you're excited. We're right? in production right now. So yeah. Right. When will it be done? We're looking at probably like 2017. Two months? Our yeah. schedule is telling That's us good. Two and a half, yeah. but That's good. Two months. Two months. So, um, schedule. Like, like 17 yeah. months. A lot of people don't know. I'm, I'm just going to start years. telling you how many months like, like, a, like a kid's age. Yeah. Or, yeah. Why can't you be screen professional enough to shut up? Okay. Sorry. Okay, so um, Malika, you got anything going on? Yeah, well, and let me know if you need a female. Oh, for sure, yeah. <laughs> we all need females. Oh, but I'm just saying, well, I want to be on the show with a female. Like what? <laughs> we should have a weather report, I think. On you don't even know what kind of show it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds fine. I don't know. All right, so you got um, anything going on? Yeah, I just launched my blog, Life Swell. Right. Yeah. Now, you do jewelry, too. I also do jewelry, yeah. which is super cool because um, I... That's what some of her? My piece on, mm. I have never met Trish. And, and she was wearing your she jewelry? Wearing, and she didn't know that I made it because Carl, Carl, I gave it to a fundraiser. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get Extreme close-up. I was emceeing this fundraiser, and I'd been on it. I kept walking back and walking yeah. back. And one time yeah. I hid the piece of paper. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't know. I only had so much cash on me, but I wanted it. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> and I hid it. And then I came back, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was stoked. And, and it was for a good cause. Yeah. yeah. But that's what's so cool that's now. Incredible. I've been doing cool. it for like it. three years, and yeah. so now I'm starting to like see people wear my stuff, like oh, just yeah. randomly, and yeah. it's just awesome. the coolest do, feeling do ever. Do you have men stuff that I could be wearing? I do. I, mean, I love jewelry. Yeah, I do um, hooks and. I don't like hooks. I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> shells. What is so, it? Like I'll take like really big sunrise <laughs> shells and put and do a Polynesian roping, like a really thick. Yeah, one. I might um, think about that. Yeah. Belly button rings. What about some flowers? <laughs> For you, I could try. A belly button ring? <laughs> That'd be a huge ring. I'm going to do some grills. Do you make grills? Hello, oh, grills. Your belly button ring. Some seashell uh, grills. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a mom. Some How about a man's show tiara? You have, you have, um. You said tiara like four times. Mm. You really want one. I, I've always You're in your face with that tiara. I've always, always wanted a tennis bracelet, too. I'm sensing Malika will be a return guest. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Right where the show is, no reason. All right. All right. So, is, is there anything else? You're, you are a mom. Your kid's, what, two years old now? Uh, yeah, almost. And you just moved here to Maui. I just moved here in November. Yeah, right. So, I'm a new Maui girl, I suppose. Okay. I'm a Hilo girl, but right. now my son is going to grow up a Maui boy, which is strange to me, but I'm ready to embrace it. By the way, all the stuff that you did for the Maui Film Festival, all the, the for the... Who was who that Watch. for? Maui Watch. There you go. Was tremendous. Thank I watched you. every single one of them. Thank not you. not for the content, just to watch you. It, oh, was, it was great. <laughs> She's got this smile Maybe. that just lights me up. I'm telling you. Let's all watch her. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's all she has to do. Uh, no, you were you were very very good. It was so fun. Yeah. No, you did good. You did Have you good. ever met Guy Hoggy? Uh, yes. Yeah. We talked about Guy before. He was the so. chief oh, meteorologist yeah. for the station that I was working at. For Did, you work for oh, really? Did you work for him? Did you work for him? No, we worked together. But he was the chief. Yeah. So what? What does it mean? You work together, but he's the chief. Well, it just means that he's the most senior person. Well, he's just older than you are. <laughs> I guess you can put it that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I mean, he's, he's been, been there, there longer, the longest, longer. and he's kind of um, the one that kind of sets the tone for what we. Do. And what is that tone? 
I guess at the time we were the severe weather team. So you still are, by the way. It's a sea and I miss you so much, <laughs> so much. Almost every day, not every day, but almost every day, I say, "Ah, this is not any good." Where's Malika? <laughs> not, you know, I didn't even know you were going to be on the top. That's how, as I'm such a fan. <laughs> okay, Michael McCartney, what do you got going on? I got nothing. You got nothing. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy to be alive. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Yeah, go to waterfalls yeah. and go. By the way, I, I don't know if you've heard uh, Michael on our radio station, Maui Wow, uh, the Maui Wow Radio Network. His shows are so incredible. You're on there every day yeah. at noon, every day okay. at noon, and uh, Chino, you're on there with uh, the Maui Live show. Mm-hmm. And, and Sonny, I have just a segment. You're on our morning show, just to do your four-minute thing. Mm-hmm. I thought you were so funny that I put you on my show. Because, I, I, yeah, no, it, and it really adds to the show, yeah. So, uh, then. Chino's like, wait a minute. <laughs> well, no, he has his own time. No, we're, we're also going to be starting to uh, collaboratively work together for uh, like a roundtable show as well. Oh, yeah, we're doing that podcasting. Mm-hmm. Like this? Uh, no, why, it's going to be a round. Exactly. It's going to be round. It's, it's, it's called the same. We'll be rectangular. It's called the same. Yeah, we're, we're going to do a thing for an event. It's a Camelot <laughs> thing. Oh, that hurt. Shower. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, Shower scenes. Trish, what do you got going on? Um, McCartney's got nothing, got nothing, got nothing. Um, for July, I got a show July 5th at the Mill House. It's with Kavehi, International Female Loopies and Station. She's coming home from Honolulu. Uh, born and raised, so uh, stoked to have her at the Mall July fifth. Kavanoa is opening. Yeah, I liked so, your show that you did last month. Thank you, thank you, everyone that yeah. came out to that the Board good. Shapers and Surf Art Show with the Moth XP. That was really good. You know what? We yeah. didn't. I didn't know they were going to play, so we laughed. Yeah, it was we awesome. Did. I saw all the surfboards. We picked the ones I would have bought. Had they not been thirty five hundred dollars, <laughs> and uh, and then we laughed. You know. Well, thank and you for coming to all. I appreciate. I come to everything you guys do. That's awesome. Thank and my radio show is going to celebrate four years in August. Wow. And what happened? <laughs> it's a blur. That's great. Yeah, That's so, great. So, so we're stoked. stoked. You're such the number one radio great. show on the island. Right? Yes. We all know this. Yes, we do. Well, well I... As voted by me. <laughs> as, <laughs> as voted by myself. But you're number two. Of you're number two. <laughs> Bill's number three. Okay, Chino, what do you got going on? Uh, just our consistent stand-up comedy open mics at Three's Bar and Grill Woo-hoo. every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night. And yeah. free ha- happy hour uh, prices on sushi and appetizers as well as uh, drinks. Did you and uh, Sonny just tear them up on Oahu when you went over? Oh, oh man, <laughs> that was awesome. Well, I mean, yeah. were you like? Well, we, we only got people? paid. We only got paid seventy dollars for three shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you got to. You <laughs> went to the water park. No, but we, we uh, like yeah. it, they, if you saw the performance, you would have thought they paid us thousands of dollars. Yeah, we, we definitely yeah. we definitely yeah. gave our A game and, and they served uh, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we silenced a couple of the walking Did anybody haters, laugh? So. Anybody at all? Everybody. Uh, everybody that Every was there. Every single person in that island. 27 <laughs> of them. <laughs> <laughs> it was true that you guys were escorted off the uh, it was a water amusement park. Yeah. Well, yeah. Somebody was yeah. telling you played yeah. some real dives too. Yeah, I don't know. We, 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 uh, yeah. we had we um, our two last shows that we had there were yeah. definitely uh, higher in number. We also did an open mic just to kind of see the, the local town out there. Is there any? And there's some freaks out there, man. There's definitely... There's definitely... Some, there's really a couple of there. very talented comedians, a, yeah. a good amount of potential, very good comedians. Are you, are you recruiting them? And a lot, of, a lot of train like, yeah, there's there's there. You know American oh, Idol, yes. that first couple of episodes? Yeah. You got, uh, <laughs> That's what you were it's looking the best for. part. <laughs> they, just have, they just have the same thing we have, just a lot more of it, mm-hmm. pretty much. Just, but that also multiplies the number of train wrecks. Eric, right. Eric Molina, we're done with you. Know. Uh, Eric Molina, what do you got going on? So good to see you. So good to see everybody. I've been gone for a while. I'm happy to be back. You were on the last show. You on the last show. The last show. Since then, this is too soon. Since then, I've been gone, uh, oh, but I'm happy right. to be back. And yeah. uh, I really don't have much uh, going on uh, for myself right now. But I am starting to take this next month to volunteer in the community. And I do want to bring up some interesting points. Chino and I were talking about this earlier. As an FYI, for a lot of uh, pet owners, especially cat owners, yeah. there is a, a killer cat virus that's going around oh, Maui yeah. right now. Oh, really? You can Google it. Um, this, the state of uh, Hawaii and the county of Maui are giving free vaccinations mm-hmm. to pet owners. And you can find out more information where to get that. Um, and again, check it out online. But if you are a pet owner and you do have a cat, FYI, get them vaccinated. Actually, mm-hmm. the interesting thing, uh, the cure they developed came from the Olinda Big Cat. Oh, oh, the mythical cat. Oh, Larry, Larry, Larry knows all about I, this. It, 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 I know nothing. 
Oh my gosh, we need to hurry, yeah. don't we? <laughs> <laughs> what would I do with anyway, that? Was was my, uh, I got uh, two bits. Wait, wait too much you, time on my. The Gary Kids. The Gary Kids. And uh, let's go to uh, <laughs> the peanut gallery over here. Joe, uh, what do you got going peanut on? Peanut gallery. Uh, I got uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Every <laughs> day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe's like me. Uh, Joe. Joe, thanks for letting me borrow your whip, by the way. Oh, Joe's like me. Well, thanks for the car hookup on Oahu. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. He's the best. The hooker on Oahu? Car hookup. I left it on the car, don't worry. Okay. The VW Gold. I told you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys, I, I've i asked you to come prepared, uh, which I hope you have. Uh, really? uh, 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 I only come because I get to play footsies with you. I thought it was a food. Yeah, right? That's and, not oh, and Trish should show our hands, too, for the camera. camera. That's not Trish. Um, I know. I was like, I'm not wearing footsies. I'm hoping that's not. I'll play Harry. I um I asked you to come prepare because I I always like theme shows I I enjoy theme shows and uh, the, what is the theme for Eric do you remember what the theme it's movie day <laughs> all right so since we did all that coverage at the Maui Film Festival yeah we'll go worldwide and talk about all kinds of movies. Shall we? Shall we? Whose show do you think this is? <laughs> I saw your long list. Uh, and I'm like, I can't. All right, so I can't compete here, here, No, no, no. You, in fact, McCartney emails me and says, I'm not going to play. I'm like, oh. He said that. He said, I'm not going to play. What do you mean you're not going to play? He never sent it to me then. And, yeah. No, he didn't send it to you. <laughs> Stone him. Okay. So we're we're gonna go through our movies. Yeah, man. Here are the here are the headings. And at first, I'm gonna let you choose anything you want. Favorite movie that was most important to you in the child in your childhood. Favorite romantic movie which you watch over and over again. Your favorite sci-fi uh, that you like it or hate it, whatever it may be. A uh, favorite I. Iconic a movie of your generation, and like Chino likes to point out, there's a big, big valley in between our generations. With that, that, <laughs> that's okay. A valley is a, is a kind term for it. Yeah. It's considered a basin. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. <good. laughs> okay. What movie always makes you cry? Uh, holiday movies you like the best. Favorite action movies. Favorite drama movie. Favorite animated movie. And your favorite movie that terrified you. All right. Uh, we're gonna. We're gonna, gonna who, who wants to start us? Should I just start picking? Just start picking. Which one, yeah, Bill? Pick. Bill, which which category are you going for? Uh, I'll go for uh, favorite movies that terrify favorite, you. Favorite movies that terrify you. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. The Haunting, the original Haunting in black and white. That was All right. scary. And how many people have seen that movie? movie. Hmm? Everybody's seen it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Malika, you don't do much, do you? Be jewelry. I don't, no, I don't watch scary movies. Yeah, no, me either. I don't. Not my thing. I do not watch them. <laughs> However, I used to get Larry, Larry doesn't. and Michael to go see The Conjuring in the theater we last did. year. Ooh, we really? did. And, and, I, and I liked it. But I usually hate these kind of movies. And I'm like, really? And, and, it's thrillers, but why scary people, movies are different. Why do people go to scary movies? Well, Eric, scary tell movies me why they go. They want to be thrilled, Larry. Yeah, they want to be thrilled. They want to be thrilled in a different way. They want to they stay up late at night, and they yeah. want to sleep, and they want to have nightmares. And, and, that, and that's what scary movies do. That is what people uh, enjoy. More because they thrillers go. can thrill you. Mm-hmm. Scary movies are, like, spooky. Spooky. Yeah, well, this you is know, scary. Like, the Haunting no, is a spooky like movie. Yeah. I'm going to give Malika her own I think, it, I think it's yeah, the same I people like who, who eat really hot peppers. They just like to kind of like... Ooh, I love hot peppers. That's themselves. a good analogy. Yeah. 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 I'd like to hurt for days afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I don't eat hot peppers. <laughs> All right, ca- what category are you going for, Michael? Uh, I'll go with uh, romantic movies. Romantic. Uh, huh? I love Annie Hall. I've seen it probably oh, really? 67 okay. I love Annie Hall. I never get tired of that movie. Yeah. All right. Good. I, I, anybody see, hasn't seen that movie? Raise your hand. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, really rushed right out in a viewing frenzy. you got to get out more. Yeah. Our executive producer. Is this an old movie? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, see, I wasn't born. I have an excuse. What do you got? You should be taking notes. Uh, all right, Sonny. Sonny, uh, uh, what category are you going for? Uh, favorite movie of all time. Okay, uh, is? Short Circuit 2. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Short yes. Circuit I've two. never seen that. Who's never Johnny? Seen Short Circuit 2? Have we seen that movie? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Who's Johnny? Wow. Who's what? No, no, no. Just sell it. Sell me. Sell me why okay. I should see this. So there's <laughs> five. Remember, five. Uh, okay, well, the first <laughs> one is yeah. about this robot that, like, develops emotion and, like, it's built for the military. Yeah. And, they, you know, the robot's like, I feel and I want to not kill people and... There's that whole thing. But the second one. <laughs> that old thing. Yeah, that's the one. It's a good one. It moves to New York. Yeah. That's the movie. It's like, oh, look at this robot in New York. Uh-huh. Yeah, you, you have a yeah, it, it, it's, it's where the song, who's, who's Johnny? Who's Johnny? That's what it's for. 
I'm in the basin. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah. so, uh, okay, what category are you going for, Malika? Uh, favorite movie from my childhood. Oh, good. So for me, I think it was Star Wars, like all three of them. And we oh, would, yeah. it was just a tradition. So my dad would, he had his movie room. And <laughs> how, <laughs> how, old, how old were you when you saw that? You know, this is all through childhood. My, it was just every year we did yeah. the trilogy and we watched it as a family and yeah. had the big screen. So it just brings cool. back memories. So how is it now that there are six? I actually haven't seen the other three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, Harrison Ford is going to be in the He's going to be in the next one. Yeah. 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 Maybe that would be reason to yeah. look yeah. it up. He I don't have time to watch set. movies anymore. What I only watch your, like, animated watch movies. Kids. You watch your kids. Yeah. yeah, and because I speak French to my son, uh -huh. we watch. I make him watch it in French. So wow. So, Frozen, and did you know that the songs are not in English? They're actually, like, totally changed and in French. It's crazy. Wow, see? Yeah, see. She needs her own show. She's smart. Um, Libéré, délivré. Blah, 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 whatever. I don't, I've only seen it like once. Oh, that was beautiful. Okay. I, I'm so sold on that. Let's do the rest of the show in French. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I got we. Oui. That's, uh, I, I mean. That's a good start. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. Is the magazine still in print? <laughs> Biblioteca. Oh, I know it's not. It's close. That's the wrong one. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, who, who, oh, oh, Joe, what do you got? What, 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 are some, what category are you going to wear? Uh, favorite movie that makes me cry, uh, yeah. Land Before Time. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good that, one, man. Uh, Little boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, good job. I've seen that one. Finally, we got something. <laughs> so. Finally, we got something out of Joe rather than just, huh? Okay, <laughs> okay McCartney, uh, what, are you, what category are you going for? I'll combine the, the first one, which is childhood film, okay. with the one further down, which is what film makes you cry. Okay, I'm ready. Born Free. Uh, that was just um, on TV the other night. Oh, I, I missed it. it. Oh. So the, the part where Elsa starts chasing right. the Land Rover, right. and they're trying to leave movie. her behind, and she's going off in the distance. Oh. She gets up, she starts chasing how many, I'm gone. How many people would vote that that's a good movie? I think that's a great Thank movie. Thank you, Mark. He knows. You're, you're not going to ever be here again. <laughs> <laughs> that's a terrible movie. I Because it's a user movie. I call them user movies because they know what they're doing. It's always real. They're, it's a true story. I don't care if it's real. They, they <laughs> use it's a true story. They dump Delta off and they blow. Well, when we start talking about Israel, we'll manipulate. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Okay, Trish, what category are you going for? Um, I think I'm going to go drama. Drama. I All would right. say Shawshank Redemption. Ooh, uh, very good. I like the story, very and I love, you know, the, I just love everything about it. All right. The, the drama, the emotion, the comedy, and of Morgan Freeman's voice, narrating, done. <laughs> done. Oh, and when I was growing up, it was filmed in this Mansfield prison, which is 30 minutes from where I grew up. Yeah. And that's where the so prison is. Yeah. So, yeah, because I remember when I was like 12, they used to be yeah. all filmed trucks and stuff like that. They Baker in Ohio, too. They did? I, I didn't know that. <laughs> They've got the worst prisons <laughs> they in do. And there's a Casper <laughs> scene in one of the haunted houses by the <laughs> asylums. I'm like, yeah, Casper. <laughs> like, Ohio, woo. <laughs> We're not destroyed. Did you know about Zanesville Zoo? That guy, the Zanesville Zoo, that guy, like, oh, that's going to be a movie. That's going to be a thriller. Okay, we're done with you. Do you want to pick one for me or should I pick one? No, believe me, I know where I'm going with the show. Okay, okay. I'm going to go with my favorite movie that always makes me cry, as well as my favorite romantic movie. It's the same one. Okay. A Walk to Remember. Gets me every time. I had a talk about for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah. It gets me every time. Have we seen that? Have we seen that? Mandy Moore's cooking. Yeah. Yeah. Mandy Moore's yeah. I don't know what it is, but I just. I it's called it. bad acting, you know. That's, that's, that's probably what it is. It's super cheesy. I, I, so I cry for my children that I don't even have yet. I'm stuck in place. That's All right, just, good. So yeah. sad. Thank you. Eric, what are you going for? Um, I'm going to take everybody back. I was thinking about my favorite childhood movies, and I, and I, was, I kept going through a yeah. bunch of different ones. Of right. course, I wanted to say Willy Wonka. Um, and then one of my second favorites was uh, Flash Gordon. And I'm looking for smiles in the crowd. If people you remember the original. Oh, I don't remember yeah. the original. Yeah. But, but here's the queen to the soundtrack to that. But I think my number one favorite, and I, I lamented for this for a long time, Bugsy Malone. 
They're, oh, yeah. Oh, does that, does that yeah, ring wow. a bell? Yeah. It was Foster. a 1976 British musical starring Scott Bale and Jodie Foster. Alan oh. Parker directed it. Yeah, where it, was a, it was a story Remember about two show? rival gangs. And the kids walked around. They had vehicles that they had pedal cars where they would yeah. run around the town. And they all had machine guns that shoot it, that shot poison ice cream. Shoot it? Did you say shoot it? The West Side Story ripoff. They're all kids. And they're doing, they're doing, they're doing, doing a stage uh, production of that. You said Scott Bale. Bale. Yes. No way. Yes. Oh, that yes. was the prequel to Johnny Lewis Chachi. And Lahaina Intermediate. The Charles and Bugsy Malone, the musical. I love it. I think it's the 17th and 18th. Take care of Eric with you. He wants to see you. got to go. That's going to take me back. Okay, Michael, what category are you going for? I'm going to go with inspirational. Okay. My two favorite. Favorite movies that were that really inspired me as a woman were Out of Africa, because shoo shoo <laughs> shoo. <laughs> Take those white gloves and put them all over your face. No, uh, and then the other one was um, Aliens with Sigourney Weaver. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was like inspiration. Yeah. 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 Yes, the first one, very powerful. I watched it over and over. I thought. That, that was the first time I ever saw a woman be the heroine, and she battled everyone yeah. and killed everything, and the only one who survived. Amazing. Yes. <laughs> All right. And she got pregnant with Based Barbara. on two story. <laughs> new, new, new question. Now, now that you've shown your style and, and what you are, we're going to try to get everybody in the tub to vote Hello. for the favorite, and it, it'll, it'll just be how many, you know, we count up the hands. The favorite in each one of these categories. All right. So if somebody wants to put something out for for a category, that's fine, and then we'll vote to see if we get a majority of the people. Okay, I got one for you. All right, uh, do that, Bill. For my generation. Yeah. The wild one with Marlon Brando. You're not going to get a lot of votes, Bill. What? <laughs> that's the okay. All for the best movie of all time. Who didn't want to ride generation? a motorcycle? No one. Get a black Sorry, guy. Uh, I'm I'm just saying, I, Bill, you didn't get tap. one oh, vote. Roadhouse. Now wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> who, said, who said Spinal Tap? <laughs> you want to throw that out? That's a good one. Oh, that's a good okay. One. okay. Uh, Roadhouse should be in there. Too. I, I got Roadhouse. And Roadhouse. No, no, no. Goonies. What Goonies? Would you let me run the show? Okay. So let Spinal Tap as one of the greatest movies of all time. Movies of our generation. Everybody who thinks it's one of you. Because you can vote several times. Say yes. Run into hair yeah. Bands. Yes. I don't do hair metal. None of you guys have been in bands. If you've been in a band, it's I love Spinal Tap. I love the Seven Car Pilot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I love that. Great band what, name. What about what about the Lily Koi Boys? Oh, huh? too soon. We're in a boy band. We're in a boy band, band together. So um, we we the still goodies. don't have one for the for the first category, which is the most important in your childhood. I was born free. Nobody voted for you. Homeward Bound. Back to the Future. You voted? Okay, okay, I'll do it again. Born Free. That's one. Yeah, like I said, nothing. All right, so that's not a Now, when it comes to iconic films of a generation, yeah, I don't think it really depends upon your age, which I think most of them do. I agree. Now, my neighbor... Yeah. My uh, my friend's neighbor in Hanukkah, he was in his 90s, so you would think, oh, maybe the jazz singer would be the iconic film of his generation, right? Or Casablanca. <laughs> but he hadn't gone to see a movie until he was in his 90s. Oh, my God. He took his wife. They went to the theater for the very first time. Is this saw Is this Titanic. Titanic. Is this <laughs> they saw what? Titanic. Oh, Titanic. Oh, Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Never seen a movie in your life. But that's going three to hours long. You're like, is this all movie? The three and a half hours long. <laughs> <laughs> so that was like their movie in the early '90s. <laughs> 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 Lost in right. the Mohicans. Somebody's got to give me. We got to agree on the first category. Oh, it's going to be Star Wars, most likely. Michael, I thought you would say The Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club for the no, no, 80s, I, you know, Star Wars, the best of the over the top. Huge fan of the 80s. Just the art arm wrestling. Well, I think, I think that that is, uh, anyone. Most relates no. to my family. Okay. Uh, uh, American you Beauty. Sure? you got to raise your hand if you're going to say sure. Yeah. Okay, so you got two okay. votes. We really are not agreeing on much. Is that right? is we're wait, individuals. You okay, but you're agreeing to disagree? Oh, no. I'm, we're individuals. What did you just say? I'm you're agreeing to agree. always disagree. Four All right. So, okay. here we go. Okay, we still don't have a first category. Wayne's World. This voting thing is kind of... Yeah. I think yeah. I don't think we're ever going to agree. This is a democracy. We should have done ballots. Let's just talk about Checkers and Pogo. From Justin and Kelly. TV All right, how about how about your favorite show or movie that impressed you the most? Avatar. Did you watch yeah. Avatar? Okay. That's pretty impressive. Oh, I was like, did it you know, Avatar? Yeah. Uh, that's a good Avatar. First Matrix. Well, let's vote on Matrix that. Matrix uh, Anybody who is uh, their favorite? 
I love Avatar. Avatar. My, my first date with my husband was Avatar. Avatar 3D. Oh, I like the one before. We're talking about 3D, right? Right, of course. Yeah, I'm in of part course. of the deal. 3D, you got me. Yeah. 3D, you got me. All right, I'm going to tell you my favorite movie of all time that impressed me the most. And, um, <laughs> accident. I'm sorry, accident. So next. Accident. No. Defending Your Life. Have you ever seen the movie oh, Defending Your Life? Yeah, uh, Brooks. Meryl yeah Albert Brooks. And Meryl, Meryl Street. All right. No, uh, let, let's say best movie ever, Defending Your Life, everyone. I want to come back. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know this is the movie that mo- impressed us the most. Best yeah. movie ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Yeah. I know. I like if it's the best yeah. movie ever, I'm jumping off the Avatar bandwagon. Because <laughs> the, the script was awful, but it was very visually <laughs> impressive. You know, you and I agree on this. But this was fantastic. Beautiful. All right. So, wow. I don't think we're going to get it. I think Malika's right. Nobody's going to agree I got romance for you. Okay. True romance. True romance. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking, uh, not to go with Okie Dokie Doggy Daddy. You guys are going to throw down. Okay, well, let, let's go with that. Yes. American Beauty, that's a beautiful love story. About okay. wanting an Boy, underage girl? Yeah. That's okay, now, <laughs> I need to. He was 18. What does this mean? No, 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 not, 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 not Kevin Spacey's oh, daughter. Oh, I was like, <laughs> no, 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 his daughter and the neighbor. What does this mean? There are over 100,000 movies, and you can't dwindle it down to a few. What does the bell mean to you? I was helping no Ruth and Ben summarize what you're trying to say. So, so, so really, what we've we found out about, and we knew this before we got here, we're not going to agree, are we? Uh-huh. No. No, we're never going to agree. I think we will. No, I'm just disagreeing with you. <laughs> if we could get five votes, five votes on any topic, any movie, then we would agree. But we haven't even... We're, we're, we're not a quorum. How about, how about holiday movies? We can all agree on oh, it. Christmas 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 Christmas. Christmas. Die Hard and Jingle All the Way. Christmas yeah. Story. Christmas, 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 Christmas Vacation. It's a wonderful life. Christmas Heavy change. There you go. It's a wonderful, wonderful life. life. Does Groundhog Day count? Wonderful Life. Anybody? Oh, Groundhog Day too. Is that a thing? Huh? Yeah, it's the first one. Let's play it again. A Christmas Story. That's my vote. Okay, Christmas Story. Sorry, raise your hand. No. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely got two votes on that. Okay, what was the other? It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. One, oh, two, no. three, four, five, six, seven. That's just eight. one of the greatest That's more than five. The yeah. I thought we were No, I thought. Oh. I thought the cameraman was waving. I was going to wave back. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, No, I think it's a nice place to have a beer. We're just going to ring a bell. Other than Malika, how many people love movies? I love, I, love I love them. I just don't remember you don't, you don't seeing them. That's like asking who is the music. music. Okay. 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 How, many, <laughs> how many people go to at least one movie a week? That's go to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, see, I, I watch it. I, I got watch them on Netflix. I got Netflix, movies movies. Netflix so. and Hulu. Yeah, yeah. Right. All right. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> McCartney and I, <laughs> and Bill sometimes, too, oh. we love to go to the movies. I know, we see the photos. We don't have yeah. two-year-olds. Are there photos now? Yes. But I've had <laughs> seven two-year-olds, so. So you probably didn't go to movies back then. I can't remember. I was just kidding. Did you eat them with the side <laughs> of the oh. oh. You said that, All right. too. You know, with the we transition to the online movie viewing, viewing, they were delicious. I've got friends that their kids have not even been to a movie theater, so I think we're actually... About to see a generation really? that may not go to a movie yeah, theater. Yeah. 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 They're, 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 they're so expensive. They're, they're like fourteen dollars for a matinee. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's all sticky everywhere. You have to too. like <laughs> save up <laughs> to go to a movie. What theaters are you going to? Well, they spent money and I got arrested. And then it's on DVD like two months later. And you're like, why am I going to spend fourteen dollars? It's even more. Hey, you got to honk your horn. I'm telling you, this is getting out of hand here. It's outrageous. Six dollars for a small coat. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, all over again. Right. All right. <laughs> we're going, we're going up, right? to uh, try to do our feature. Over about 20 minutes ago, by the way. No. I only have 11 minutes. 11 minutes. Yeah, we got plenty have I told you I was in a movie? No. There we go. You were in a movie. Uh, doesn't doesn't count. Count. I just wanted to like Later. extend this and irritate him. <laughs> no, I was, but... Oh. <laughs> I told you I loved you. Now you're trying to. Okay, uh, Mike, go ahead and start this. Mike. And now it's time for another installment of Andy and Beatrice. The old and relentless. We find Andy and Beatrice involved in their regular nightly after dinner argument. Andy, you go ahead and wash the dishes while I pick out something to watch on TV. Oh, no, you don't. 
The dishes can wait. I'm watching Orange is the New Black. You always put off the dishes until I end up doing them. Besides, I want to watch Meryl Streep in The Iron Lady. I ain't watching any movie with Meryl Streep flying around in a metal suit. You know, you'd rather watch a show about a bunch of homely, foul-mouthed prison losers than a historical drama? Heaven forbid you might learn something. It's actually a great show. Orange is the New Black is historical. It's based on a true story, and I have learned something. Uh, Orange is... Oh, sorry. Oh, and pray tell what you can, and pray tell what could that be? I've learned that working as a guard in a woman's prison might just be the job for me. Oh, you and your big libido. A job, I say, where I can do some good in the world. Take these anguished souls under my wing and nurture them until they, they return to society as productive citizens. Why would they hire you? You have no qualifications for the job. You're not even a productive citizen. Sitting around all day drinking beer, playing with your belly button, collecting Social Security. You can't even wash the dishes. I did the dishes last night. You watched a cup in a teaspoon. I ended up washing the pans and scrubbing the floor. It's not a competition, Beatrice. It's a marriage. And what about that hole you started to dig in the garage? That's going to be my man. Cave. It looks more like a shallow grave. I don't give me any because the script is. Don't give me any. <laughs> don't give me any ideas. What's that? I'm just saying that we always end up watching some chick flick. We it's need something more manly. It's true. Some of the women in Orange the New Black are kind of manly. So what? I like strong women. Does that make me gay? Are, are you trying to say I'm a poofter, light in the loafers, a homo sapien? Of course not, Andy. After all, we almost had over a dozen children. Yes, and they would all be out of trade school by now. <laughs> Leading productive lives. A few might even have couch. been prison guards or prisoners. It's possible. Andy, let's Give it another try. Okay, I'll watch Orange is the New Black while you do the dishes. No, Andy, let's try and have another try. What? Right now? I'm all tired out from all this arguing. Let's just agree to disagree and watch that Iron Lady movie. Is Robert Downey in this one, too? Tune in again next time when Beatrice says... Oh, Andy, you better get off the handcuff. You better get the handcuffs. I've been a very, very bad inmate. Oh. Uh, Nice. Nice. You had that kind of Ray Charles thing going on in the beginning, Jamie Foxx. I, I thought it was funny. I thought, I thought it was funny that the guy wanted to watch Orange is the New Black. It's normally the other For the record, around. that show is terrible. <laughs> no, you... <laughs> It's you, bad. Okay, Sonny, Sonny, I'm sorry, but we finally have, have reached the... I always agree with oh, you on everything. I can't do it. The writing is It's the best show on TV. <laughs> have you seen... <laughs> have I seen it? Yeah. Or Game of Thrones. Yeah. Or Breaking well, Bad. Or Dexter. Too. Those are all good. Those are all good, too, but Orange and Black is good. before season four. But yeah. Orange is the New Black is phenomenal. <laughs> I, I, I like everything about it. I like the situation. I like the nudity. I really enjoy naked women. He <laughs> likes the nudity. I, what, I do. Yeah, but a surprise. He likes, but even in prison setting, that's, 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 you know, it, uh, nudity, nudity is nudity. Okay. Yeah, 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 I just liked yeah. it. Chauvinist. Not to understand Malika, through that whole thing, <laughs> it was just fun to watch her because she, her eyes glazed over and she said, I don't know what the frick they're talking about. <laughs> we is never do. Yeah, yeah. This is, I did not write this, just so you know. Right. Okay. I think I said, right. what is this? Yeah, you, you had no idea. <laughs> she barely read it, actually. Yeah. It's the newest episode of Orange is the New Black. And it's all in French. <laughs> Andy was Andrea. And it's all in French, too, by the way. It's all in French. Yeah, it sounds better in French. <laughs> Okay, it's not. All right, but <laughs> how many people that really follow that show? Really follow that show? I watched we the first four episodes, and I was like, no. <laughs> really? No. Tino did watch the show. He's not in many First season, yeah. and then I was like, and so uh, this is boyfriend duty at this point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's good. I love it. I, lo I think it's a great show. It's a chick drama. Uh, Get over are, it. Are we out of time yet? Not the wire. Even close? Seven minutes. Oh, good. Seven minutes. My God. Wow, we've got time wow. for all kinds of okay. stuff. Wow. We're talking about movies, oh, which means this will be Shawn Michaels' yeah. all-time favorite. I got it. <laughs> I, was saving this. I was saving this to the end. You talk way too much. When of you course jump. I do. Okay. Um, uh, it's the vodka. It's like what mom is drinking before the show starts. Oh, hyper me up. The taquitos. <laughs> All right. So, yes, yes. But I want to try this. I don't think it's going to work, but I always try things that I want to work and then they don't. <laughs> kind of like this movie thing that we just did. Okay, so <laughs> so I, 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 I want to go. We're going to start with Bill. Uh -oh. If Bill were a movie, what movie would he be? Oh, Lost in Translation. Groundhog Day. <laughs> <laughs> Moby Dick? Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Michael Pulliam uh, were a movie, what movie would he be? Ooh, I don't know. 
Chicago. Uh, Red Dawn. Seattle. Bullets over Broadway. Ooh, the Red producers. Happy with all oh, of boom. I like Red Dawn. <laughs> That's good. I know. I know that was too easy, but not everyone and knows my, that. And uh, if my ex-friend Sonny were a movie. Oh. American Pie 2. Oh. 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 Dude, where's my car? Dude, that would work. All right. Be the idea. If Malika were a movie. Miss Congeniality. Oh, She's like, sorry, guys, I'll just name it. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it's just too perfect. But Sandra Bullock. Uh, <laughs> this is my kind of woman. I take a lot of Julia Roberts. I'm a black belt, and I was Miss Congeniality, so it just makes sense. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Right? Wow. Don't mess around. Whatever you say, Malika. <laughs> yeah. You got to, yeah, Larry, give me that horn. I think I should give it. Pretty much think you should be sitting here. Okay. <laughs> if, if Michael um, were a Michael McCartney, what am curious yellow? No. Talk radio. High fidelity. High fidelity. High fidelity. High fidelity. High fidelity. High sure. I was going to say that. <laughs> Almost <laughs> You're too sacred for me. If Chris were a movie, what movie would she be? My best friend's wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in some misery. Else. Oh. <laughs> Why? Because I have fans, or I have fans. <laughs> it really hurts. Yeah. Because I'm a writer, and I do have stalkers. Tina, so Tina, help, help her out. What <laughs> movie? Tina, Tina. Is that a racial <laughs> slur you just called me? I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know exactly what that was. I don't know 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 what that was. I don't Hmm. Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty in pain. Oh, oh yeah. that's oh, nice. Oh, oh, so I wait to get kissed after uh, my... Uh, if he, if he Chino were a movie, movie, what movie would Chino be? Green Blade. I want to be almost famous, by the way. I'd be Master of the Skies. Oh, this is the guy's Dana Carvey. No, I said Green Blade. Green Blade. Green if yeah, Eric yeah. were a movie, uh, what movie would Eric be? Gremlins. <laughs> That's not a bad I don't eat after 9 till 9 o'clock. That's so. very good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's is that my only choice? <laughs> Critters. You do Critters as well. Thank you. Beyond the Green Door. <laughs> <laughs> it's apparent you're not well liked here. You know? Boy Scout. Critters. Expendables. At least you can have Expendables too. Expendables. Yeah, the transport. Yeah. Give you that. Now, if Larry John were a movie. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. If uh, Joe, if jo- you're always trying to take off. <laughs> if Joel Bella were a movie, what movie would he be? Uh, oh, Ooh, pause. Gremlins. Did you mean that? Was that serious? Because that was the most adorable thing ever. That was pretty freaking adorable. That was so funny. You know, I love it when people are funny and they don't realize. Where did you find her? She's so cute. I know. I I don't know. I still think he's paying her off. (laughs) Forty minutes of program. Forty one years, seven kids, sixteen grandchildren. Yeah, that woman. So we've had a good time. Anybody here not had a good time tonight? Uh, at least we're unified in something. What's yeah. good to one? We agree to agree. I oh, uni- I only only after 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 enjoyed the food. <laughs> <laughs> the food was good. Right? Food was good. <laughs> Thank you, co producer. Well, that's all the time we have this week for The Tub. In The Tub are some of Maui's best-known personalities. Talking about life on Maui. The Tub is a production of Maui Live Show. Find us online at MauiLiveShow.com, where you can watch past Tub shows. You can also find us on Facebook. See you next time when, once again, Maui Live Show brings you The Tub. And I wanted everybody to realize that uh, this caricature that I play of myself on this Show is really more like me than the guy that you really know. All right. So, um, uh, because Bobby before the show said he's not really like that. Really, I am like this. Not so much like the guy you see on the street. All right. And please, I get no believers on this thing. Nobody's disagreeing with me either. Well, oh, oh, it's a deal. Thanks, Larry John. All right. We bet you are. We're just vamping. We're just vamping. Malika, what, what movie were you in? You may not kiss the bride. You may not kiss the bride. Oh, yeah, there's on a wall. Yeah. And I was Catherine McPhee's stunt double. And we I had to really? jump out of a cleaning jeep. And I awesome. could have died. It was you had your flame retardant suit on? I had a, a freaking 
wetsuit. <laughs> wow. She's a meteorologist. Hello. Whatever over it and a bathing suit. And that's all I had. And I had a rock telling me when I was supposed to jump before this flaming jeep that they set on fire. And I had flame retardant gel all over my face, like up my nose, down Ew. my back, all over my hair. Yeah, and, and then she still looked once fabulous. I jumped, <laughs> <laughs> but once I jumped, the um, jeep ran into a tree and blew up. And then wow. I had to run past this like giant ball of fire. This is a real ball of fire. Like, oh, this is completely real. Could have died. Oh, my and God. Then, um, How many fire extinguishers were you? Uh, no, I don't know. We just kept running. <laughs> just keep running. That makes sense. That's always good advice. Just, like, run, and so I ran. But what's cool about it is when you watch the film, because it was an independent film, um, you actually see me a lot. I mean, you can't tell, like, whatever. It still looks like it's Kathy McPhee. Right. But um, they use, like, a full clip. They don't cut back and forth a lot. i got to get a copy of this Low budget, set someone on fire, you keep it. <laughs> <laughs> you keep that clip. Yeah, no one gets hurt. There's no loss. All right. Love y'all. Talk to you all. Love y'all. Let's set Larry John on fire. It looks like Kate Chuan. All right. <laughs>